Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 22, today verse 52 and 53. Let's read it. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, captains of the temple, and the elders who had come to him, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs? When I was with you daily in the temple, you did not try to seize me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. So notice who's here. Here it is. It's the middle of the night. We've got the chief priests. We've got the captains of the temple. And we've got the elders of the people, and they come out to take Jesus at night. Oh, in the middle of the day when he's teaching in the temple and the crowd is there, uh, they're not going to take him. They're not going to confront him. But now in the middle of the night, they grab him. They're grabbing him in darkness. And so he calls them out for it. You didn't seize me then, but now is your hour in the power of darkness. He's trying to help some there in that crowd understand what spirit they are of, what they're doing. They're going to suppress the truth. They're going to suppress the truth himself. And there they are, and the leaders are aligned against Jesus. The, the spiritual leaders, all the leaders, they're there. Uh, this is their operation. They are going to take him down. This is the ultimate takedown. We're going to take him and kill him. And so Jesus is, is reminding them, you know, look, look what purpose you're serving. Look how you're operating. You're operating in darkness. This is an appeal to their hearts. It's an appeal, oh, that they, they must know they're wrong. I wonder what the Holy Spirit must have what these people must have felt, those that were not beyond the, the line and not crossed the line, those who still could be convicted by the Holy Spirit of doing wrong. I wonder what they were feeling as Jesus put them on notice, you know, and reminded them, your conscience is condemning you. Why? Because you're doing evil, you evil people. You're doing evil. Wake up. Wake up before it's too late. And so I wonder how many of these people will be saved and in the kingdom finally because perhaps they heeded this warning. I think these are all appeals from Jesus to their hearts so that some will be able to be saved. So may that, uh, may that have come true. One day, very soon, perhaps we'll know. We'll meet some of these people on the other side in the kingdom after Jesus comes. Let's pray right now. Father in heaven, thank you that all the way down to the end, Jesus is working for hearts. He's working to bring conviction to souls. He's working in, in harmony with the Holy Spirit so that these people uh, some of them, the ones who are uh, able to hear, will hear, and perhaps some of them maybe somehow at a future time turn, turn back toward you. May that have been true. But for us, Lord, the question is for us individually today, are our hearts fully turned toward you? If not, Lord, then please give us appeals like this and help our hearts to be fully turned towards you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may the blessings of the God of heaven be upon us as we turn ever more fully toward Jesus.